Okay, let's get this thing started. Hey, welcome. It's Thursday Cataclysm. <laughs> Originally had some other stuff planned, but I was having some kind of a technical issue and kind of got bugged by it, so I decided to go back to Cataclysm. I'm sure most of you don't mind. Uh, so, howdy. I am Vormithrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are continuing our Grand Theft Apocalypse Challenge, towards which, after three episodes, we still have not made a single... <laughs> step to actually completing. Uh, this one's breeding pesky. Um, yeah, so I am playing the last gig scenario as a sleep challenged bionic thief. Uh, my goal is to steal 10 different vehicles and display them in a showroom of some kind. Uh, in order to do that, I have to find a showroom and the RNG map gen is just poking me in the eye every chance it gets. It's just messing with me and messing with me and messing with me. So, it hasn't uh, really gone my way. It's been a really weird game world, and uh, hopefully we're going to get on the road again and explore a little bit more of it before I give up and go back to the starting town again. Uh, so, you can see the character sheets up right now. We had a bit of an adventure last episode, yesterday. A couple of really irritating, annoying things happened, especially towards the end. I'm over it. Uh, yeah, I've recovered. So we're going to try to push on with a new, brighter enthusiasm and see what we can do. Uh, as you can see, we currently have a cold, which sucks. After all the other effort that we went through, we picked up the common cold. Uh, and I'm almost out of cough syrup. So we're going to have to hit some kind of a town so I can locate some cough syrup again. Um, other than that, we did a huge amount of skilling up, as you can see. Fab 10, Mechanics 8, Computers 8, Tailoring 8, all that good stuff. Uh, the only ones left I really need to finish up are another level or two of electronics, and if I can manage it, a couple more levels of first aid. That's pretty much it. Uh, cooking if we get a chance, but I'm not too worried about it. So we've got all the major stuff in place. We're missing a few raw materials to put together a decent armor set. We'll get to that eventually. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, we're pretty well packed out on some bionics. We also managed to accomplish that last episode despite the difficulties. Uh, so you can see most of the list here. I think it's a little longer than that. Uh, does it scroll below? It does slightly. So there's a few extra ones down there. Um, some pretty good ones, though. So, not all of the good ones, but enough of the really good ones. Repair nanobots and dielectric are awesome, awesome. Metabolic, of course, to get the power systems up and running. Uh, we got the night vision now, targeting systems. A defense system, which I've never actually put to use. Hopefully we can get some use out of it. Uh, usually I'm dead before I know that there's a problem, because uh, just instant turret death. Um, but we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. So, character's doing fine in that way. We're still stuck with our little excavator vehicle. We have uh, got it tricked out slightly in that I took out these two corner spaces and put trunks in. Uh, as soon as we can come across some cargo spaces, I'm going to swap those in in place. And uh, then we'll just keep using this thing, I guess. We may use it as our utility vehicle all the way through this challenge, especially with the integrated boom crane in the front that we can fix up any vehicles we find with. Um, so that's kind of my plan. So we are here on the map. Come on, map. Load up. There we go. We've done a lot of traveling. A lot of traveling. We spent all of last episode hanging out at this lab right here. Six levels, completely explored it, finished it up. Uh, we also went over to this military outpost and cleared it. And then we pulled back around and up into this lab up here. My hope, even though it's an ice lab, my hope is to quickly find a computer terminal that I can hack so we can get a map of this area and uh, give us a little better idea of where we might want to go and what our options are. So we're going to stay here just long enough to do that. I don't think I'm going to explore too much further into it beyond that. Uh, the cold and some other issues are causing me some issues with uh, reading my electronics book. I want to get to Electronics 7. I believe that's the minimum I need to get the control laptop put together. And that'll further trivialize the uh, labs for us. Um, beyond that, I had made some notes. What else was I working on? Uh, control laptop. Oh yeah, I also need the electronics skill a bit in order to do the uh, plating CBMs. So we can get uh, torso and head plating. Gives us plus three to cut and bash protection on our head and torso, which is pretty good. So, 
a few different things in the works. Uh, I don't plan on spending a whole bunch of time in this lab. I want to do as much traveling this run as I can so we can actually get started on the challenge portion. Uh, we've already far exceeded the stay alive portion. Um, so yeah, it's kind of where we're at. So we're okay with everything except for the head cold. Um, we've had it for a day or two now, but I'm not sure how long they usually last. I'm also a little fuzzy on what my exact hidden health stat is currently for us to fight off colds and infections and stuff like that. Um, we've got a little bit of power. Very thirsty. We just relocated. I don't have a lot of uh, hydration or food with me currently. And I don't have a lot of warm clothes to really sustain me in the lab. We got rid of all the uh, frostbite effects. So I think I was at the point where I was going to just defrost some water and then head back down. I just want to kind of roam around the first floor for a bit looking for uh, a turret room that I can take out and uh, be able to access the computer terminal. So let me know also if the music is too loud for the voiceover. Uh, I'm trying to find the good volume setting for it, and I haven't heard all the tracks in this music sound pack yet, so it is a different music sound pack that's been uh, spliced in. Um, do, do, do. It's the 2chan sound pack, the same one I've been using for a while for the game sounds, but the music is from a new one that I linked earlier in the uh, Twitch chat. Uh, by Skybreach. It's the Co.ag soundtrack. And uh, go to the discourse or search for it on Google. It's pretty easy to find. You can either use the integrated sound pack, which I think is a variation on RRF sounds, um, or you can get the music only and then incorporate that with another sound pack, which is what I've done. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. But let me know if the music tracks are a little loud uh, compared to my voice, and I'll adjust things as we go. Alright, so everything's working over there. Let's say hi to a few folks. Howdy, Retro. Who else snuck in? I see Swan snuck in. Howdy, Shidar and ADS. <laughs> Just died to the go up the stairs into turret death? Yep, I'm with you. You really gotta train your fingers to peek up and down all the stairs. Uh, I am a prime example with lots of uh, on-record deaths to explain why that's a pretty good feature nowadays, and even I still forget, just by habit. Alright, so let's go ahead and get things moving here. Uh, I believe I've got my initial setup right here. Alright, so... Junk and... Oh yeah, all that... Uh, Accessories and such for my MRE packs. Uh, let's shift those over. And that what I wanted. Uh, activate the pot for the water. Alright, so we're full and slaked, we're tired. I think I was planning on sleeping in the vehicle. Because over here, right next to the fire, I'm okay. My head's minus 44. I don't have any clothes that I can wear to warm up my noggin. Not directly. Golden crown, that's what I need. I need me a golden crown. Oops, whoops. Where are you at, Balaclava? Don't have rags. I can go get some rags real quick. Stupid rat. Uh, 
Ah, that should take care of my cold face. And now we should be able to sleep in the beds here. Come here, you. <laughs> Can't even finish a freaking giant fly off. Alright. Guess it's about time to fix up the uh, duffel bag again. So, we do have a bunch of sleep issues. If you haven't seen uh, earlier in the series, we are an asthmatic, heavy sleeper, insomniac, narcoleptic, and sleepy. Uh, the insomniac is causing me the most problems. Narcoleptic's pretty fun, funny when it happens, more than uh, dangerous. Um, the insomniac makes it so I can't sleep reliably even when I'm tired on a bed with a blanket and a pillow. Which has been a bit of a problem. I can't manage my fatigue nearly as well as I normally try to do. Oh yeah, now we got the coughing going on, waking me up constantly. Um, I'm out of cough syrup, so I pretty much just have to put up with the constant interruptions. Which is tough with the insomniac. <laughs> oh, there we go. Er, ah, damn it. Because at a certain point, I won't be able to uh, get back to sleep again. Yeah, it gets harder and harder to return to an actual sleep that uh, regenerates my fatigue. Uh, I've woken up I don't know how many times now. Getting ridiculous. Can't even can't even get rid of the tired status. Ugh. Maybe we won't be able to do anything here in this lab. I might be forced to keep traveling. I would really, really rather know what the map looks like, though. It saved me so much time. I'm, I'm burning. Yeah, I, I can't make any progress. Well, at least we got rid of the tired status, but now I'm very hungry and dehydrated. Lovely. Now, of course. What the heck? Man, that really burned my hunger and uh, thirst. I'm going to take that blanket back. All right, um, everything else for the moment. We'll refill this gallon jug. Where were you? Water out here somewhere. Where'd it go? <laughs> There's the narcolepsy episode.
Alright, and I got to eat. Candy and chocolate bars. So our stats are low because that's stupid cold. Um, hey there, space cowboy. <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, this one's proven pesky. More from the map gen than anything else so far. It's the random map that's really killing me and any progress towards the uh, challenge goals. If I can just find a city with a big building next to it, near it, or anywhere near it remotely that I can use as a showroom, then we'll be able to kind of get things moving. Alright, uh, let's go get one more thing of water, just to make sure we're full up. Need to get this exploration done and get back out of here. I'll leave them up here for now. Two rounds left in my battle rifle. I'm actually starting to get a little concerned. We've blown through 60 rounds without any re-up on my armor or my ammo. Alright, let's go ahead and head down. So, this is what we've explored so far. We did have one turret right there, but I can't get an angle on it because that stupid door is offset from that one. So, I need to be able to stand back about here in order to have the range, but I can't get line of sight. <laughs> so, it kind of sucks. I don't think I can get it. I might actually have to go double check and see if I can get line of sight right through there. The turrets, I don't think I'll quite be able to get the line of sight there either. I probably did check earlier. Go find out though. So pop that open, back off this way. I can't quite get line of sight. The turret's either there or there, I forget which. But. Because of this weird offset, this door is placed one to the left from where I'm used to having it. But, let's see if that... Nope, not going to get line of sight that way either. So without taking down a wall, which... I could do. It actually might be even better to do that. Take me an hour to knock the wall down, a little bit longer to get the uh, rebar out, and then I could line the shot up. Probably actually a better plan than just wandering around this floor. Walls, walls, walls. So we've got a path there, there, and then wherever this room goes. And that's pretty much it. Alright, let's 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 quickly check a few other rooms. But if I don't find something pretty quick, we're going to bag that plan and we will uh, just go take that wall out. Alright, uh, let's also do a peek. Hello. That's quite the quite the sizable room. Nothing in it that I care about other than super glue. Another useless room. Hate this room. Gotta remember I have night vision CBM now. Alright. Another stair down and nowhere else to go except for this one. Alright. Electro hack. Well, that'd be great, except for I already have a uh, electro hack. I have the finger hack. That's no different, right? Yeah, it's a surgically in, in, surgically inserted electro hack, so I don't need the electro hack. 
Don't often find that one, though. Don't need this room. This is the shelf room that'll usually have supplies. Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting thermometers all over the place. Russian blue. Yeah, we might need some more of that. Nope, don't need an uncooked rotten burrito. Alright, so... I know what this... This is just a flip of this, so don't care about that. There's nowhere to go south. Skitterbots! So, another containment room with scientists and skitterbots. Hmm... Kill that scientist, Skitterbot. Now you're going to lose that fight, aren't you? Um, so, no way to go east. I suspect there's probably not one south either. I think we might be coming up on a dead end here pretty quick. Lots of stairs down. This might be the last place right here. Barracks or containment? Yep. It's one of the barracks or containment hallways. Damn it, turret, but no computer. Yeah, which one we got? Library. Sure. Ah, right, what do we got? No V8. That's all I care about there. And yay! Fruit leathers and or, uh, nuts. And we're overweight already. Owner's handbook. I think I have that one. Only techniques for designers. Really? I don't have the chemistry textbook yet? That seems weird. <laughs> Good old narcolepsy hit, but I can still check out my books even though I'm sleeping. Ah, cooking to six, machine guns to three. The others are just going to provide recipes. Not a big surprise. The chill is starting to creep in. We need to sit here until the narcolepsy ends, though. All right. I think we're done on this floor. Nothing else really for us to look at. I didn't get the opportunity I was hoping for. I did also update my uh, Some Dead Guy tile set, so you'll notice the uh, tables and counters and some of the other furniture looks a little different. Alright, so we went up there. Um, let's go back upstairs, drop this stuff off, and then I think I'm going to get out of here, stupid rat. <laughs> uh, after that, I think I'm going to uh, go take that wall down once I am not so cold. Get 
that actually. Not where I wanted that. Slake, we're just going to hang out here by the fire for a short bit, get rid of the cold effects, and we'll head back in. Come here, pickaxe! I got a job for you. So the goal is to take out this wall right there, then we're going to walk back this way, and then we're going to shoot that turret. I can shoot right through the rebar. Ooh, I hope I can get out of here without getting in range of that turret. <laughs> All right. Wield. We are 16 away. All right, problem taken care of. We only got minor frost nip. Please don't fail this hack. That would really suck. Ah, uh, oh, I got a door right north. Oh, that's right. I had to get by this thing in order to get to that door. Uh, get your stamina back. I'm gonna get frost butt, frost uh, bite here. Take a look at our map. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, well, it's a city. Not as big as I was hoping. Oh my god, it's a city with a mansion! <laughs> there are mansions on this map! Alright, we might have found our home finally. It's gonna depend a little bit on the mansion design. Uh, any fungal right on top of me? No fungal right on top of me. We got a sewage treatment. A uh, ranch I already knew about. So mansion with a ranch nearby is pretty good. Down composition, eh, one doctor's office, fitness gym, no banks, one gun store which you don't care about. Um yeah, so I'm not impressed with this with the city itself, but hopefully off this way there might be a bigger city connection. It's a pretty big open area here. What else do we got that appeared on the map? Uh, a military bunker and another military outpost. So, yay, I guess. Military outpost. Military bunker. Might. A couple of different versions of the bunker. Uh, yet another lab right there along the road. That's pretty convenient. And a good old Triffid Grove up that way. Alright. But, at least we got some, uh, got some area mapped in. I was hoping for another lab I could leapfrog to, like up in this corner, <laughs> to keep exploring the map. We're mainly using the labs right now as uh, map reveal tools. But this is good. This is progress, at least. Alright, so we're currently hanging out here at this ice lab. So we've got a lab right next door. We've got the town of West Haven. We've got a mansion. The mansion is where I originally thought of putting the showroom, the large centaur room in the middle. Um, can be a dance floor, can be a basketball court. There's a few variations of it. Um, so we'll have to go check out that mansion, see what things look like. And then I'll have to make my decision on what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll turn a cathedral, or yeah, I could turn this cathedral into a showroom. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, let's pop this door. Probably this is also going to be a barracks slash prisoner containment. Um, what am I looking at here? What has windows that direction? 
That's going to be a barracks, right? That's the window for the second control room into the armory. And we've already got an open spot from rubble. Hmm. Time to turn this back on. Wearing rollerblades, which is problematic. Uh, rubble for the other one, too. I don't like having rubble here because it takes so much to uh, move over, especially in rollerblades. Look at my stats. Ooh, boy. We are out of here. Yeah, there's something moving back there. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to warm up. All of the effects here are uh, adding up together. <laughs> so we've got uh, 37 speed currently, meaning we're running at about a third of our normal speed. So we've got to uh, head back up and defrost before I come back down here. Okay. Spend some time just sitting here. Let some fire go. Cool. I got rid of all the cold effects. Uh, overburdened. Yes, we are overburdened quite a bit because of our strength being down, because of the pain. Get some aspirin. Already got an entrance into that one barracks, so I should not need my pickaxe anymore. Gotta keep the pots. Keep hitting the vitamins. We've been getting vitamin deficiencies lately. It's about as good as I can make them. Um. <laughs> you are correct. It is the first time in a very long time that I've been excited to see a mansion. <laughs> Usually it's, god dang it, another mansion. Ah. <laughs> no, no meat jerky on this one, Remo. I haven't had a single meat jerky the entire run. <laughs> it's all been almonds and pistachios for the most part. And MREs. We've been subsisting on MREs that I've been pulling off of soldier bodies. I haven't done any food preservation this run. Alright, let's head back in, take care of that uh, barracks, then we'll we'll get moving. I'm excited to get back on the road and go check out those other locations. Alright, don't like this computer being here now. Um, yeah, let's whack-a-mole this computer. Yeah, I need to whack a mole that computer too, but it's going to make noise. Alright, so I needed to do that so that the I wouldn't get spotlighted when I stepped in this area if I have to retreat. Now we can go back to Battle Rifle at the Ready. Should have brought a shovel down and cleared this space as well. We're going to chance going without it. It's looking like whatever's in here is just back in this part of the room. There's no lights, so it means there's no uh, turrets to deal with. Go ahead and check these first. Uh, 
Uh, do I scoop up a new set of pants? Let's actually just wait on that for now. I don't remember seeing nearly as much army winter gear in this run so far. Usually I come across pretty good stacks of that stuff. There's a pretty good example of the new graphic for uh, desks. Alright, well, whatever it is is hanging out in that corner, looks like. More rubble over there. Oh, what do we got? Do we got a mole rat? That one's been knocking stuff down. Dead soldier. So there may have been a turret in here at one point. There's the Ribtech submachine gun. Must be a mole rat. Yep, good old mole rat. Hey there, Mr. Mole Rat. What else we got in here? Ribtech machine gun, a full strength Ribtech assault rifle. I might grab that just so I have a backup. I've got a damaged one in the vehicle. I can swap them out. Don't care. That's. What, what, what's with the tracer ammo? Come on! <laughs> Give me just standard 8x40. Stop with the tracer. And <laughs> three more MREs. Um, Alright. I'm just debating whether I want to deal with the mole rat. I may just leave him over there, run around and grab stuff real quick, and skate on out of here. Don't need the machine gun. Assault rifle's back in that corner. You just stay right over there. Don't care. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bail. He's just hanging out quietly. No need to mess with him. Okay, now I get to pack up and get back out of here again. How are we doing on space? 36 out of 250. Um, 46 and 64. Let's drop this stuff back here. One dose of cough medicine left. Brazier before we take off. Maybe I'll sleep and then we'll take off in the morning. Yeah. Hopefully that all fits. Oh yeah, I forgot to check what time it is anyway. Nine o'clock. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll take our cough medicine, we'll try to sleep the night away, and um, take off in the morning. So, give me, give me the lemon pepper and the clean water.
Everything's too heavy because my strength is so low right now. Do a tiny bit of reading, then we'll give it a try and we'll go to sleep if we can. All right, we'll fire one out. <laughs> Actually wanted it to do. Come on, level seven. I just need level seven. Here comes the frost nip again. Damn hands, one degree too cold. Two degrees technically, and we're dead tired. Three a.m. already. What the hell? I, uh, <laughs> I felt like I was reading for like five seconds there, and we went from 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. already. And hardly gained any electronic skill. What the hell? That's... that's weird. Now, of course, it's frozen again. There's still something weird going on there. I remember something like that happening right before I left last night, too. to sleep first and then we'll come back in the morning and eat. Uh, I can't put my blanket away. Hopefully we get a good night's sleep with this last of my cough syrup. It's gonna suck because I'm gonna sleep most of the day away. Hopefully we find some cough syrup at that uh, ranch or the mansion. Thirty PM Give me the blankets. Oh really? It's not frozen? How did I manage that? You said 46 minutes, I waited an hour, and now it says 40 minutes. What the hell? Hmm. Yeah, screw it. You can keep the brazier. I'll make another one somewhere else. I don't want to keep burning daylight. Alright, don't think I've left anything else. Let's just go ahead and get moving. Okay, on the road again. We are going to go... Let's see. 
I know we went down to that lab. We came from that direction, so we get, went by that farm. I'm debating whether I want to stop at that lab just to see which kind it is, or do I go straight over? I should probably go straight over. We're going to go straight down this way. We'll check out the ranch, check out the mansion, and then kind of go from there. Side of the fence. Zombie soldier. Hey, zombie soldier. What are you doing out here? I want my bolt driver. Try out the bolt driver. I haven't tried it yet. So this is the silent killer that I want to use for ranged combat. So if I wield my bolt driver, we've got an 83% chance of a headshot from this distance if I precise aim, 360. If I just snap fire, we have almost no chance to hit. I really got to do at least a 300 points, so I might as well spend a 360 to maximize my headshot chance. Probably gonna take at least a couple of hits. Am I still wearing my rollerblades? I'm still wearing my rollerblades. I'm a dumbass. 42 damage, and it made 18 sound versus like 200 sound for a gun. <laughs> Heavily injured. Can I stay ahead of him when I'm running on rollerblades in the grass? Barely. All right, not bad. 42, 42, 42. Well, it's consistent, if nothing else. And I get all three of the Bodkin bolts back. Reload it. And we're back up to full strength. So, that's the main reason to use it. It's got punch power. That's 42 damage to a soldier, which is one of the highest protection factors zombies will run into. Um, so, 42 damage per... Three shots to kill a soldier. Relatively quiet. It's not making huge amounts of noise. So soft targets like shock zombies and acid zombies will go down in probably two hits. So it's going to be a good addition to the arsenal. Plus it runs off of and trains rifle skill. So between that and the rib tech guns, we're, we're good to go. We got the right options for the right situations. All right, almost never see zombies at ranches. Not from the zombie, it's or from the ranch itself, anyway. Sometimes they'll spawn in from nearby. First things first, dump the rollerblades. Not the one I wanted. I want to keep the backpack. All right, there we go. Now we're rocking and rolling. Go we'll check the back bedroom first. <laughs> leather pants, leather pants. I actually do need to accumulate my leather supply again, so we'll take that and get it butchered up. Pillow's good. Yet more duct tape. Nothing. I'm not using wooden crossbow bolts, but yes. <laughs> These are steel bodkin bolts. These are one of the hardest, heaviest hitting bolts you can make. But yes, 
if you want to use wooden crossbow bolts, I would hope by the time you can make a pneumatic bolt driver, you're going to have better options than that. Pneumatic bolt driver is one of the last things you'll be able to craft. Alright, well, that wasn't too useful. Back little room here, and we're out of here. Absolutely nothing. Alright, well, not too much useful here, unfortunately. Narcolepsy! Um... Not sure where that tough zombie was. Oops. Went in the wrong direction here. Not sure if he's keyed in on me yet or not. Yep, he has. <laughs> anything an RV will give me that I need right now. What are you on gas? 56 liters still. Jeez, these vehicles are crazy. Alright, let's head on down to the mansion. So this will be the first mansion I've gone to since they updated them. So I'm very curious what the mansion's going to offer me. For difficulty. Let's go with the bolt driver again. And we'll get eight replacement bolts. Hey, look, more Adderall. That's just what I need. Oh, there's a fire truck, too. <laughs> well, that's convenient. So we have a helicopter and a fire truck right outside the mansion that I'm hoping to use as a base, base slash showroom. So parts and frames, parts and frames, but also all of the Kevlar and Nomex that I need to finish out my uh, whatever armor set that I decide to build. So that's convenient. What was that? You mean what weapon was I just using? That is the pneumatic bolt driver. It's one of my favorite weapons. I don't get to make it very often in my uh, challenge series. It's right here. Pneumatic bolt driver with a uh, shoulder strap added on. So 11 armor piercing, 34 damage. It's doing, what, 42 against soldier zombies, 52 against the pilot. It's com not completely silent. It makes 18 sound, but... It gives you a nice hard punch that'll go through even the strongest of the uh, armored zombies. It'll punch through even skeletal juggernauts. It just takes a while, but um, gives you good punch power. And that's using steel bodkin bolts as the ammo. There is ammo with a higher base damage and a better range, but I rarely need the range or the base damage. I mainly want the armor piercing, which is what the bodkin's given me. And it'll hold eight rounds, so you can fire eight shots before you have to reload. All right, I got zombies coming up as well. Let's just clear some zombies. See how much this does against a regular zombie. I'm also getting 81% headshot from decent ranges. So, 63 damage critical. It's going to take two shots per. Then we will reload while I wait for them to get closer. As long as you're, uh, you're good about remembering to instantly hit the reload button before you start moving again. That 8-shot limit doesn't often come into play. Let's 
should be doing this on my roller blades, but I think we'll be okay. Um, yeah, we lost one bolt so far. Back off slightly. Do some reloads. Oops. And got five more shots. Well, that takes a little longer to reload than I thought. So it's a little slow to reload, apparently. That's fine. Let's switch over to... Uh, let's do Machete. Up running. Gotta remember just how light my clothing and armor is still. No, not three on one, thanks. Got a bite. 